here is the first final on the track tonight, the 1500 meter race with Laura Muir there. Very strong competitor indeed. And from the outside in for Ireland, we've got Kira McGean, the 2016 European bronze medalist. So she's got a medal to defend here. Then for Spain, Esther Guerrero, seven times the Spanish champion. They're all smiles. Laura Waitman has been in two successive Olympic 1500 meter finals, won the British title for the fourth time this year. Sweden's Hanna Hermansson looked very good in qualifying and has already raced two races in the 800 as well. Didn't qualify for the final there, but looks in very fine form for Swede. Diana Mezulyankova for the Czech Republic, 26 years of age, second at the Czech Championships over 800 meters. Here is the defending champion. She's got that golden bib. Angelika Shihotska also raced over the 800 meters. Next up, the Czech 800 meter champion, European cross country relay silver medalist Simona Razlova. Laura Muir, one of the women to look out for in this race, won the 800 meter British title this year, didn't compete in the 1500, but she's the European indoor champion at both 1500 and 3000 meters. For Belarus, next up, oh, Poland's first, Sofia Enuai the 2016 European under 23 cross country champion. And there is the Belarusian Daria Barizovic, winner of multiple Belarusian titles over 800 and 1500 meters. And for Portugal, Marta Penn, very accomplished collegiate runner in the American system. And on the inside, another Spaniard, Marta Perez, she is the Spanish champion over 1,500 meters this year. So, just from the inside out, Perez, Penn, Barizovic, Enaoi, Mjor, Razlova, Hikotska, Mezjolanikova, Hermansson, Waitman, Guerrero, and McGean. And Laura Waitman really taking it out here straight away, doesn't want to get into any trouble. And Hermansen, the strong Swede, who's looked very fine at this championship, really good. Laura Muir right at the back, also not wanting to get involved. Also, Angelika Pihotska, who has a fantastic finish in these distances and really showed her strength at the last edition of these championships. You're there, now slowly making her way to the front and has moved two second from that last position within just a few hundred meters. Now at the front, the two Brits, Waitman and Muir. Sixty-nine fifty-four at four hundred meters. As Moore and Waitman continue to make the pace at the front, and the diminutive figure of Marta Penn just behind her. Sofia Anawi, very fine fifteen hundred meter runner indeed, looked good in the heat. And Esco Guerrero coming round the outside. Perez right. there looking it's very Perez. good. Yeah, I was going to say she just made a quick move there to get on the inside again as so she doesn't have to go too wide around the bend. Muir now pulling away from the field. Penn still there with Waitman, but Muir has put on quite the pressure here on the field and doesn't really want to leave anything to chance. 
Waitman now also kicking a little too close. That gap on Muir a little. Penn still looking good in third as well. And Hihotska, the defending champion, still hanging back there in 10th. Muir there looking very good. Waitman also very strong. 212, 31 at 800 meters. And there is a significant gap now between the two Britons and the rest of the field. Muir just looking very comfortable indeed. She's got such a good range, 800 meters, 1500 meters, 3000, and really showing that she's very confident in her abilities. And Waitman also looking good as Penn now closes that gap a little, trying to get away from the rest of the field. And of course, Sophia Enaoi, the other pole, also hanging in there. She had a good finish in the semi-final, in the heats as well. And Kiara McGean also looking good in fifth there. Now the pole moving into the bronze position, also overtaking Penn, the Irish runner, McGean, and Laura Muir just really putting on a stellar pace there. She's really cranking up the pace now. Waitman struggling to keep up with her, but the two Brits miles ahead of the field so far. McGean now on the shoulder of the Polish runner. Has that bronze from two years ago and a lot of Irish hopes on her, but Laura Muir there looking absolutely fantastic. We know she grits her teeth when she gets to the stages where it starts to hurt. The pole now come back on McGean. There's a heavy battle for the third position and they're both closing in on Waitman who's now tiring heavily. So Laura Muir looks set to win that title, but there's a tough battle for second and third. Laura Waitman there and the pole. Enoy looking very strong and Ken McGean get that bronze she won two years ago. Now the pole making a brown. She looks back, knows she's comfortable. Laura Muir is the European champion. Enoy gets silver and bronze for Laura Waitman there. 4.02.32 for Laura Muir. Very, very fine run indeed. Just doing the arithmetic. Well, that was a very quick last lap. 63.03 indeed. But even more impressive were the two second and third laps. Now that first one was 69.54. She then destroyed the field with 63.16 and 61.84 on the third lap, which is the real killer. And now we can run faster than that. I just wonder whether Anawi just got her tactics a little bit wrong, just giving Muir too much of an advantage when Muir and Wakeman were going away on that third lap. Perhaps she should have stayed with her. But nevertheless, Anawi being part of a very successful Polish team here and adding to their tally with a silver medal. But Laura Muir there just showing again how strong she is. She doesn't care where the rest of the field is. Runs her own race and she's just such a gutsy runner. And required guts as well from Laura Whiteman to just hang on in there. Resist the attack of Kiara McGinn who's got a bronze medal two years ago. Finishing fourth on this occasion. Whiteman. Well, Waitman, it was really desperate to the line, but she gets in there and finishes with a bronze medal. Yes, I mean, one can say Anna Weir is closing the gap a little bit, but I, I don't think anyone would have dared to go with Nora Muir in the pace she set. 63 and a 61 could well have destroyed anyone else. I wish we wouldn't have been wearing headphones there because across from us, of course, is Laura Waitman's coach, <laughs> Steve Cram, and I'm sure he will be very thrilled with that bronze medal there for her as well. And here are the final results for this 1500 meter final. Laura Muir takes the title in 4.02.32. Sophia Enoi with 4.03 and Laura Waitman bronze.